Hello y'all and welcome to Young Folk Knits. Let's chat a little bit about some things you should be knitting this summer. So much for hanging out with me today as we chat all about summer knitting patterns. If you're not already then make sure you hit that subscribe button. I release new videos every Thursday and by subscribing you really help me to continue creating new video content. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I can't believe that it is already summer. Somehow spring came and went very quickly, <laughs> but now that it is officially summer, I wanted to share a few of my picks for summertime knitting. A few things I like to knit on in the dead heat of summer are non-wooly things or very lightweight things, or even things that you can knit in pieces and seam together later, because then you don't have a huge blanket <laughs> of a sweater in your lap at all times. I'm not really one that has a problem with knitting winter clothes in the summer or summer clothes in the winter. I don't really care one way or the other about that. If I want to knit something, it doesn't really matter <laughs> what season it is. But I spend a lot of time outdoors knitting while my children are playing. And because of that, I definitely cannot have woolly, heavy things in my lap during that time. So I definitely steer towards cottons, linens, silks, bamboo, blends. They are by far my favorite fibers to use in the summertime. But let me show you a few patterns that I think are really cool too. So first of all, I think one of the absolute best projects that you can have in the summertime are a pair of socks. Not only are they small, they are portable. You can take them with you, throw them in the car if you're going to the movie or going on a road trip or gonna be out and about. We tend to do more things in the summer, so I think socks are a great thing to be able to take with you on the go. And some that I have had for a while and I have not got around to making yet, but I think are the most absolutely adorable socks are in the Shorty Sock Set, which is by Summer Lee Designs. So Summer designed, let's see, how many different socks are in this set? I think there's, there's three or four, but my favorite from the set, the reason I bought it, are these adorable Shorty Ruffle Socks. So not only is it fun to knit in the summertime, these are gonna be really fun to wear in the summertime. I love shorty socks. That's pretty much all I wear in the summer. If I wear socks, they're not gonna be any kind of tall socks. <laughs> I think that just adding that little ruffle takes basic socks and turns them into the most adorable, fun summer socks ever. So I think this is a really fun pattern. Plus you get multiple patterns for $6. I like how she does that a lot in her sock sets. So this is knit with sock yarn, um, fingering weight, size one needles, US or 2.25 millimeter. And I just think these are super fun. I definitely wanna cast some of these on before the summer's over. Plus, when you knit them in the summer, I think you should definitely knit them in some super fun neon or tonal colorways. I think that just makes them extra special. Another non-garment that is great for the summertime, um, hair scrunchies. I absolutely love the poo poo scrunchie, which is a pattern by Sari Nordland. Uh, I think what's great too is that it is a DK weight pattern. You're using four millimeter or US six needles and it has that really cute little tie on it. So it looks like you've tied your hair up whenever you use it. I think it's a great stash buster too because you can either use 
you know, a fingering and a mohair or surrey, or you could hold two fingering weight yarns together, or you could use up some DK weight yarn. So you've got a lot of options there. Uh, I think that depending on the color yarn that you use, this would also be a great pattern that transitions summer, fall, winter, spring, it doesn't matter. You can really customize the vibe you're going for with the color yarn you use. I think a really fun color would be the Sandus Garn sort of lime green that I see a lot. I think that would be a really fun way to use a pop of color without doing an entire garment <laughs> if you're not sure that you are ready for all of that color. All right, next up are some really lovely summer tops. One that I really like that just recently came out is the Dappled Lace Raglan. This is a pattern by James and Watts and it was released in April of this year. I have not made it yet, but I really, really do want to make it. I have so much fingering weight yarn, and I think that this would be a really fun way to use some of that up. I like too that you can make a short sleeve or a long sleeve, so you can definitely do the short sleeve for summer, but if you love it, then you know, when warmer weather leaves and it starts getting cooler, you could make yourself a long sleeve version since you will already have the pattern. He suggests Ritual Dyes Undine. I think there's so many different yarns that you could use to make this in. I think Santa's Garn Tinalina would be a really great alternative. And it is a blend of cotton and linen. Um, what all does that have in it? But it is, it's a fingering weight yarn with some great summer fibers in it. Also think Knitting for Olive Pure Silk and the Knitting for Olive Cotton Merino would all be absolutely fabulous to make this in. If you wanna use a sock yarn, that would be great too. So I think this is really versatile and the fact that it's uh, all over lace, you're gonna have a lot of breathability. And even if you were to use a Merino for instance, I think that you will have enough breathability that it would it would be okay. I like the fact that there's not a super high collar, so it's definitely something that would be nice and cool to wear on those hot days and nights in the summertime. Another summer top that I think is absolutely beautiful is a pattern by Jennifer Beale, and it's called Dontara, I think, but it is knit with Quince & Co. Sparrow. That's a fingering weight yarn and she uses um, US 5 or 3.75 for the body and then I think maybe a 3, a US 3 for the ribbing maybe. I think this is such a fun way to incorporate color work into some summer knits while still having such pretty lace panels and I think using a light color just keeps it really breezy and summery. A lot of the pictures show it as a rather long top, but I think that if I made it, I would definitely shorten it, be able to just barely tuck into the front of my pants. But I think it's really pretty and it has a nice open neckline. And I just think that color work is something you don't see a lot in summer tops. So I love the color work mixed with the lace. I think it's really special. Another top I love is a pattern by Joanna Garish. She is Colibri by Johanna on Instagram. And it is the Georges top. So I really love this pattern because I think it is so easy to customize the fit. I love how it has these ties at the top. That's going to give you a extremely personalized fit as far as the yoga depth, the front V depth, underarm depth. You're going to be able to control all of that with the ties. You can knit the body of the top to whatever length you want to get your perfect fit. You can also do a tie on one side only or the tie on both shoulders. I actually really prefer the look of the tie on both shoulders. Um, something about the tie only on one shoulder gives me 80s vibes, but not in a good way. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. But it is 
a worsted weight gauge. So it's a 16 stitch gauge on US 8 needles, stockinette, that's gonna knit up really quickly. And she used Knitting for All of Pure Silk Held Double. I think that would be an absolutely fabulous fabric. I think that would be really nice. I also think Kotlin would be nice. It is a DK weight yarn from Knit Picks if you didn't want to hold something double. I also think Sandiskarn Lena. That is a worsted weight. And I think it would work well for this pattern. So there's a lot of options and I just think it's so cute. Another absolutely gorgeous top is the Forage pattern, which is by Lanaya Elizabeth. This is knit up in Quince and Co Sparrow. It's fingering weight yarn and you're using US 6 needles. So that's, you know, a fairly open fabric. Plus you have this absolutely beautiful lace panel that goes down the front. I, I think it's just stunning. I think it's beautiful. I think it's classy. I think it's nice and lightweight. That yarn I have, and it is 100% linen yarn. And I absolutely love the color that they chose to knit this sample in. I think that the Knitting for All of Pure Silk, the Sanus Garn Tin Lena, there's just so many different options. I think any of those, any fingering weight yarn would look really beautiful with this pattern. One that I think most people have seen, but I'm still going to mention, is the Moon Crush Tank. And that's a pattern by Jacqueline C. Slack. The reason I love this pattern is because I think it's a great stash buster on top of the fact that it's just really cool. I like the way it looks. But if you have three special single skeins, you're not really sure what to do with them. If you like them together, then I think that this would be the perfect pattern for it. I am in a subscription. So if you have some club skeins and you're like, oh, I don't really want to knit socks anymore, or you know, you get a monthly subscription of some yarn, I think this would be a great way to use some of those skeins up because you only need one skein of each color for pretty much every size. I have some Woolberry Fiber skeins that I have gotten through their collective, their monthly collective, and I have gathered up three of them that I really like, I think are going to work perfect for a Moon Crush tank. So I would definitely like to make one of those. Another pattern I wanted to share is by Knitting for Olive, and it is the Barbro top. I have shared before, I'm working on the Barbro blouse, which is a long sleeve top with a mock neck collar it buttons in the back and you know it's definitely a full garment <laughs> i love the stitch pattern however and this is the same stitch pattern however it's in a summer top so i think this is really fun i love the all over lace it's a really simple lace i like the bottom edging and i think that the straps do make it for a nice cool summer top. But I also think that this is simple enough that it would be really beautiful under a long sleeve linen top, maybe with the sleeves sort of rolled up like this. I think that would be really cute. Um, I also think that this would be really nice worn with a linen skirt or linen pants. It's just a really beautiful classy top. It is knit in their fingering weight yarn, so you can use their merino, or it also recommends their pure silk, and then you use three millimeter needles. So it's a great way to get that stitch pattern in without having to do all over lace on a, you know, every inch of a top, sleeves included. I did want to throw in a crochet pattern because crochet seems to have absolutely taken the internet by storm. So this is the Alma Granny Square Top and it is a pattern by Maria Vallas. It is a granny square stitch and she gives you the pattern for free and it is written for a size medium or 40 inch total width. But the nice thing is that you can adjust it for smaller or larger sizes by adjusting the size of the granny squares. 
and it, she talks about using a hip or bust measurement, whichever one is larger, to determine how large to make the squares. So I think that's really cool and a really great idea. And I love doing the granny square stitch. So I think this would be a really fun top to wear over a bathing suit, to wear over a camisole. I just think it's super cute, even to wear over a spaghetti strap dress. I, I like this a lot and it sort of has that Mediterranean summer feel to it. Okay, the last top I want to share is the ballerina wrap top which is a pattern by alexandra tavelle or two of wands and this is a dk weight pattern you use us six needles and i just think it is so cute i love v-necks i love a wrap neck and i really like things that have a tie around your natural waist i think that is so incredibly flattering on every body top and i I think that there are a lot of great DK weight summer fibers that you could use for this top. Tin Alina held double, pure silk held double, cotton, cotton from Knit Picks, Sandus Garn Duo. There's so many different things that I think this would look absolutely gorgeous in. I would love to wear this over a spaghetti strap dress. I would love to wear this over a camisole. Um, with high-waisted skirts or high-waisted shorts. I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. It's very feminine, but without things like ruffles and florals and, and all of that, it's still a very simple yet feminine pattern, and I love that. It's very much my style. So that may be one of the things that I would like most to knit out of everything that I've shown, but maybe one of these days I will. I hope that you found some inspiration for something that you would like to knit this summer. And if you enjoy this type of video, then make sure and give it a like or a comment. If you're not already, then please make sure and subscribe because it definitely helps my channel out so very much. And also, that way you won't miss out on any new video content. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'm looking forward to chatting with y'all again soon. And until next time, happy knitting, y'all.